Here now to discuss some of the key issues facing the industry is NCBA President Jerry Bone. Jerry, a lot of people in agriculture have questions about President Biden's 30 by 30 plan. What do we know and, and exactly how is NCBA engaging with the administration on this important issue? Kevin, there's a lot of angst and interest about this plan across the country. They've renamed it America the Beautiful. Who can be against America the Beautiful, you know? But NCBA is going to actively be at the table. Uh, uh, pleasingly, so far, the report that the administration started with is focused on the protection of private property rights and the role that producers, ranchers, and farmers are playing already uh, as being one of the original conservationists. And they're recognizing that, and so we're pleased by that. But that's really just a starting point. And so our team in Washington is going to be aggressively communicating with the administration and be at the table to promote the positive things that our producers are doing and will continue to do. And also to be there to prevent anything bad happening as we go forward. And, you know, over time, uh, conservation and su sustainability things have kind of been focused on rhetoric and and emotion, you know, political rhetoric, particularly. But we're going to make it hopefully get it focused on fact and science. And so uh, Caitlin Glover and our Washington DC team are going to be really aggressive in, in representing the beef industry and what we do. You know, for a long time, farmers and ranchers have been leaders in sustainability. Tell us, what are some of the other ways NCBA is advancing this important topic? One of our really big strategic goals for this year is to be uh, have a more active role in the, the what how sustainability and climate change and environment affect our industry and the positive contributions that we uh, contribute to the environment. Uh, we have a, a task force that's working right now. It's, it's a group of uh, members from all of our state affiliates. They're working on putting together some additional goals for NCBA as we move forward. We're also active members of the U.S. Roundtable for Sustainable Beef, and we also have people who are at the uh, International Roundtable for Sustainable Beef. So we're represented there as we work with NGOs, uh, uh, businesses like Walmart, Tyson, uh, Cargill, and all of those who are concerned about the role that environment plays and what their consumers are asking for. Jerry, can you give us an update on the work of the Live Cattle Marketing Committee and its efforts to help producers manage risk? I think you're aware that we met with the five other national organizations in Phoenix a couple of weeks ago. Uh, uh, that's the first time that that's happened in some time to work and look at this marketing challenge. Uh, there's no, no secret that uh, the price spread between uh, beef prices and live cattle prices is quite wide. And so we need to continue to address that. Uh, uh, you know, unfortunately, we're still in balance. There's a bigger supply of cattle available than there are packing plant hooks. In defense of the packers, they're having a challenge of getting all their workers back to the packing plants. Uh, so they're running at less than maximum capacity and we need to help them get that fixed. And so we're uh, pushing on that and will continue to be our message that uh, we need to give the incentive to get people back to work, not to stay at home and, and to try to eliminate this bottleneck that we're having at the packing plant level. Uh, we'll be talking more about this as we go forward. Our triggers program is still underway. Uh, uh, Colin and Ethan and I had a long call with the leadership of Tyson Beef on Friday uh, discussing the challenges that we face and trying to get Tyson to be more active in the negotiated market. That group and others like it will soon meet in Nashville, Tennessee for the Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA trade show. Talk about the important work that will go on in Nashville. There's going to be a lot going on, and I would say uh, this is going to be the first time that a lot of people have been able to get out and uh, uh, participate in a big meeting, and so we're looking forward to that. Uh, it looks like everything's on go for Nashville right now. Uh, you know, obviously cattle markets are going to be at the top of the list. Uh, I think uh, taxes will be discussed, the concern about the losing the step up in basis uh, that's being proposed by the administration. So we've got to defend that. Um, of course, sustainability, climate change, environment's also going to be discussed by our, our committees. Uh, the checkoff uh, will be working, uh, checkoff committees will be hearing from uh, 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 contractors presenting new ARs, potential ARs. Uh, for the coming year, we'll also update on the, the progress that our research and promotion efforts have been uh, being done uh, currently on the, the, the ARs that are under uh, work this year. So 
Uh, there's a lot to be there. We're also going to go and have some fun. We're going to the Grand Ole Opry one night. Uh, we've got a really large trade show again, and I think all of our uh, exhibitors, our vendors are looking forward to it. It's probably going to be the first time for some of them to be out and about for a while. Thanks, Jerry. Registration is now open for the Cattle Industry Convention and NCBA trade show that Jerry just talked about. Don't miss out on early registration discounts. Go to convention.ncba.org for all the details.